I don't think they dwell on uh, on fidelity down on 11 meters. Nah, but a lot of guys, a lot more guys are, man. A lot more guys are trying to get into the to the broadcast quality uh, audio down there, but getting them to do it right is a whole different story. I heard one guy on on 11 meters. I forget what channel it was, but they uh, this one guy stood out. He was way high fidelity. It was quite remarkable. Now there's a lot of guys on there, but there's a lot of guys on there now that run anons and flexes on there. Um, I had a Cobra 2000 that sounded uh, almost as good as the Anon. Um, also, uh, know somebody with a Cobra 29 externally modulated that sounded as good as the Anon. Um, it can be done, man, if you know what you're doing. Uh, you can make a little plastic radio sound really, really good. The Domulator. Most of those guys, yeah, but they're all running linears are really big linears and stuff you don't hear about anybody really doing a lot of high level modulated vinyls and stuff but that's where like class c is the best like run class your final in class c with no audio so you don't have to worry about anything and then just high level and that's what the cb guys should be doing because like they don't ever do sideband or anything like that and it's just like mono band, so like, yeah, hell yeah. I mean, I I like linears a little bit. I mean, plate modulation is awesome, having a big plate modulated AM rig. But like, what if you want to use sideband or like, you know, go do something else with it? Like, what if you want to mess around and do like FT8? Like, I don't know. That's where like linears are cool. You could do lots of stuff. And a lot of sideband linears would be like 60 you know, percent peak efficient or so, uh, you know, my chat's telling me. So I don't know. That's the argument for having a linear, you, you know, what mode, what band. All right, I'll be there with a signal and you know, big plate modulated rig is no good on, unless you're doing AM, you know, I think you should I just fired up my DX 100. How do I sound? You should get on uh, CB radio and uh, uh, you know, go on a go on a campaign, go on a religious campaign about how everyone should be using high-level Class C modulation. Uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, I don't think a lot of those guys know about it. That's the thing, because it, it's always been like, what kind of lean yar you got? Hey, how's my DX100 Sam? doesn't put out enough power, the uh, Class C. Them guys are running 10, 20, 30,000 watts. You imagine the, the audio you would need to modulate 25,000 watts? Yeah, half that. Oops. Yeah, it's not that bad. They have all these pulse width modulated Class D amplifiers now that's 20,000 watts and two rack spaces. Not that big a deal. They're like under a grand. Um, but, you know, you take any final, run it in linear service, take the same final, run it in class C high level, and you're just going to do a considerably more watts every time. Wait a minute. If these guys are running linear amplifiers and they're doing like tens of thousands of watts, what's wasted in heat could be put in towards a high level modulator. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, those guys are running stupid power. And there's guys that have four 3CX 20,000s in a, in a lean yard amplifier as their final amplifier. I mean, the, the power is, is stupid, that, what they're doing now. Well, really, they're just amplifiers. Uh, people call them linear amplifiers, but they're, they're anything but linear. Yeah, it's, it's more like an RF switch. But anyway, um, Perry, imagine all those big ass amplifiers that are out there, right? Like running crazy watts. What if they were high level modulating them? I mean, what what's a safe assumption to say? You'll double the power at least. You know, you run more. Like your single 3500Z, you could probably, 
if you like high level cathode modulated it, you could get, I don't know, 700 watts carrier, no problem. <laughs> Think about it. You see, I don't know enough about it or how that's even possible. Like to me, that sounds like, yeah, you're out of your mind. But then I hear like guys with, you know, a pair of 4-400s, four, four you know, high level modulated that are running, that are capable of stupid, stupid power. And I'm like, how is that even possible? But that's because I don't know anything about it. So I wouldn't. I would like to to look look into it and learn about it. So if one of you guys could maybe send me a link. Oh. Just I mean like they mastered this stuff in like the 30s, 40s. Uh, get a get a handbook, get the radio handbook, ARL amateur handbook, any of that stuff. They got away from that stuff, Billy, because of the electric bill just to heat up those tubes and stuff like that that's why there's no broadcast stations of any size that don't use uh, either ld moss or complete solid state because of the electric bill yeah you need a lot of peripherals to do plate modulation but you know it's badass <laughs>